Today we're going to work on how to tell if you use substitution or elimination. When I do this, I just look to see how are the equations best lined up. Remember that with substitution, one, at least one of the equations has to equal x or y. That's how you tell when you use substitution. One of the equations already says x equals or y equals, I use substitution. If both of them are lined up with the x's lined up, the y's lined up, and the equal sign's lined up, then I use elimination. So in this first equation we have, we have both equations equal to y. That means it would probably be easier if we went ahead and used substitution. So we're going to plug negative x minus 5. We're going to put that in place of the y in the other equation. Or since they're both equal to y, we put them equal to each other. So negative x minus 5 equals 3x minus 1 of 5. And then you go ahead and work out and solve for x. So I add x to both sides by 4x, and over here I still have a negative 5 and a minus 105. Add my 105, so now I have 100 equals 4x, or x equals 25. And remember that we still have to solve for y. So you can go ahead and plug that back into one of your equations and solve for y. I'm going to choose the top one, actually. So instead of y equals negative x minus 5, I'm going to do the opposite of x. The x that I had was 25, so this now becomes negative 25 minus 5. Negative 25 minus 5 is negative 30, so I get y is negative 30. So my coordinate where these two lines cross each other would be 25 for x and negative 30 for y. On the second one that we have, you can see that our x's are lined up, our y's are lined up, our equal signs are lined up. So this one's better set up for some, um, sorry, for elimination. If I were going to do substitution, I would have to get one of the equations to say x equals or y equals, and that would be more work. However, um, I need to get either my x's to be the same number or my y's to be the same number. So what I'm going to do is multiply the whole entire top equation by, I'm going to go with 3, so my x's line up. So remember that we do 3 times x, 3 times 2y, and then 3 times the 2 that's down here. 3 times x is just 3x. Three, 3 times 2y is 6y. 3 times 2 is 6. So then I rewrite my second equation. I have 3x plus 4y equals 22. Now I'm going to combine these equations so I get just 1. I have a positive 3x and a positive 3x. To get rid of those, I will have to do subtraction in my entire equation. So I do 3x minus 3x, that's 0. 6y minus 4y is 2y. 6 minus 22 is negative 16. So I have y equals negative 8 after I do my divide both sides by 2. Then you have to plug that in and solve for x still. I would put this back into the top original equation. So instead of x plus 2y equals 2, I'm going to do x plus 2 times negative 8 equals 2. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. So to get rid of this negative 16, I'm going to add 16, add positive 16, or subtract negative 16 to both sides. So I get x equals 18. So my coordinate where these two lines cross each other will be 18 and negative 8. Today what you're going to work on is either form A or form B, numbers 9 through 18. The first two sections from 9 through 18 involve just solving problems using substitution or elimination, whichever one works out better for each problem. The last section from 9 to 18 involves some word problems, and we haven't talked about how to set up word problems, so I wanted to work through one first with you. This problem says the commercial foods class in the high school sold some cookies but forgot to keep track of how many of each kind they sold. They had peanut butter cookies for $3 a plate and chocolate chip cookies for $4 a plate. They know they sold 12 plates of cookies and collected a total of $43. How many plates of each kind of cookie did they sell? So you can see that we might have to do this one day or something like this in our life one day. So what we do is we set up two equations. We're going to focus one of our equations on the amount of money and we're going to focus the other equation on the amount of plates. 
So when we're talking about the amount of plates that they sold, I know that they had 12 total. I know that they had some peanut butter cookies, or plates with peanut butter on them, and I know that they had some plates with chocolate chip on them. But I don't know how much of each of them they had. So I can just set this up as 12. So 12 plates total equals some peanut butter cookie plates, some chocolate chip cookie plates. On the money, how, what they have for their total? Yeah, they have 43 bucks, so that's gonna be their total. And then they had $3 a plate for chocolate chip and $4, oh, I'm sorry, $3 a plate for peanut butter cookies and $4 a plate for chocolate chip cookies. So with the peanut butter cookies, it was $3 for every plate of peanut butter cookies and $4 for every plate of chocolate chip cookies. So we need to go ahead, sorry, we're gonna just now go ahead and solve these. If you wanted to say equals 43 over here at the end, that's fine. It equals 12 down here, that's fine. This is better set up for elimination. So I'm gonna go with that. Instead of, uh, I'm gonna get these to be the same. So I'm gonna multiply everything in this bottom equation by four. So I'm gonna do 12 times four is 48. Four times P is four P. 4 times C is 4C. Now I have 2 4 C, so I'm going to subtract. 43 minus 48 is negative 5. 3P minus 4P is negative 1P. 4C minus 4C is 0. So I divide both sides by 1 and I get P is 5. That means I sold 5 plates of peanut butter cookies. Now I need to figure out how many plates of chocolate chip cookies do they have. So I plug this 5 into one of my equations. This one just is less work. So I have 5 plus C. Well, that means they had 7 plates of chocolate chip cookies. So you just need to write out your solution. 7 plates of chocolate chip. And 5 plates of peanut butter. You're going to work these out. So on your problems with word problems, you need to do uh, write the two equations. Do the best you can. If you need to work with your partner, go ahead. Or work with a partner, go ahead. That's totally fine with me. Just turn it in when you get finished. Thanks, guys.